what's up guys once again you're welcome to our channel today all right guys there's a very serious face-off between the yoruba council worldwide and northern politicians on the move to remove tunubu come 2027. now according to the information the yoruba council of worldwide has voiced strong opposition to recent political threats in the north to move against uh, Tenobo come 2027. Now, in the report, if you notice, uh, the governor of Bauchi State, Bala, made a statement that he will step down should Jonathan seek to recontest. In fact, the way he put it, he said they're not we're going to produce Jonathan come 2027 against Tenobo. That's what he said. That he will step down if Jonathan, you know, indicates him, or if if Jonathan actually wished to contest that he was going to step down. That's what Bala said, and this is not only the the view of Bala, but it's a majority of view of the northern elite. They want to field good luck, Jonathan. Even PDP themselves said that they are willing to field good luck, Jonathan. You know, of course, you know right now that PDP is mostly northern. In fact, the north have hijacked PDP. That's just the truth. The north have hijacked PDP. They are not pleased with 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 APC. Right now, it is the Eurobars that are controlling APC. You know, of course, you know if you want to look at APC is divided into two. We have the ACN, you know, part of APC. And also we have the CPC part of APC. Now the CPC part of APC was the faction that Buari himself was heading. All right. Why the ACN faction of APC is a, is the other part that Tinubu is currently heading. When Buari was in power, it was CPC faction that actually ruled APC, and that is where Amichi, you know, and the rest of them, all of them, they all belong to. All right. So now that they not are not happy with Tenobo. They are seeking for an alternative to remove Tenobo. In fact, there are different plan by the North. There are backup plans and their primary plan they are put in place to secure power in 2027. And that is if it actually works. Number one, um, Salih Usman called for a major, a very powerful major. According to him, he said that this major should cons consist of Atika Obaka, Konguzo, the former governor of Kano State, who is also who happened to be the founder of NNPP Party, all right, New Nigerian People's Party, that is currently in power in Kano State, and also Peter Obi. They said that they should draft in Peter Obi because if Peter Obi is drafted into the major, they'll be able to control Southeast. And the reason why you see them actually calling for for good luck Jonathan to join, it is to get the votes from the south 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 they want to get the vote because if you look at the north today the north is severely weakened right now especially now that the middle belt are not fully with the north the middle belt are not supporting the north any longer in fact they have seceded away from the north they don't they no longer even join the northern elders forum again so the north is severely weakened and they are looking for alternative to actually bounce back to power come 2027 and that is where they thinking of fielding good luck jonathan because they believe if they field good luck jonathan they also look at it that they can easily control good luck jonathan that's what they were looking at but i think they've not learned from abbas and joe himself because abbas and joe single-handedly put jonathan in power but abbas and joe himself could not control good luck jonathan you know so it's one thing to give somebody power it's another thing to control the person so that is always the issue. So right now, the North is looking for every alternative. In fact, all options are on the table. All right. If the major between uh, Tik Obaka, Congo, so, and Peter B don't work, they will look for a way to try everything possible to hijack APC. In fact, there was a rumor that Kulot Jonathan had wanted even contesting uh, under uh, this, I um, uh, think one time against Buari. He had wanted coming back to contest. I think that was even even last year election. Sorry, it wasn't under Buari, but it was against Tenobu. You know, there was this rumor that Gula Jonathan was going to contest under APC, despite being a PDP member, you know, and all of that. Not until it's like there was no green good green light. So Jonathan had to opt out and he never, you know, showed up to contest under APC. All right. 
So I'll be making a separate video on who do you think is going to win between uh, Tenobu and Good Luck Jonathan. Should you Good Luck Jonathan show up to contest? Who do you think is going to win? Drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Malcolm TV. God bless you.